What is good YouTube? Today I'll be making a video on the worst Call of Duty ever. Like just ever like it is multiplayer zombies campaign. This just all around is probably one of the worst Call of Duties known to Call of Duty. And I was going to play multiplayer, but I was like looking for like a match for like 20, like literally like two minutes. Found nothing. Here's the clip. So yeah, like it is just atrocious. Like how bad, like, like I don't even think anyone's playing, which is crazy because this game is what, two years old and literally no one's playing it. Jesus, and like before I even started recording, I was looking for matches to get a warm up in, found nothing. I was waiting in the lobby for like 20 minutes, found absolutely nothing. So we're just playing zombies, which is still terrible on this game. Dude, this is a disgrace calling the zombies. We're gonna be using the EM1. This is my first time ever playing this. I know that uh that this game did launch with zombies without okay, uh what is it i think it's a pause button sorry without a pause button and it's like how do you do that how do you launch a call of duty game without like a working pause button like what that makes no sense i stopped playing this game like i think like what after two seasons general croft i don't care but like after two seasons i stopped playing this game i was playing multiplayer thought this was like terrible game I did watch gameplay of this, like, you know, like, um, what's it called? Uh, like, Phase Jev and Dismal played, like, through the life cycle. But, man, this was bad. This game is bad. After two seasons, I stopped playing. They didn't play the zombies because I heard there was no pause button, and it was this. So this is my first time ever playing this. Also, uh, freaking, I regret buying this game, not gonna lie. What's the perk? But, uh, I regret buying this game. I, like, fell into the... Uh, like grasp of this game We're like oh this is such a good game it looks so good play the campaign the campaign is terrible like 20 percent gameplay 80 percent cinematics like it is just so bad like this game is just so bad multiplayer is terrible the campaign is so bad man if, if i could go back in time i would not have not bought this game i'm gonna be honest where's the next one at three hours later what, what am i supposed to do I went everywhere that I can. Oh, bro, it's over here. But too late now. Well, that sucks for me. What round am I on? Is there no rounds in this? Okay, there's so many actually that way. Run! Oh, what the hell are those? Okay, oh, Mortal Kombat's looking pretty solid. It's already out. But, you know what? It's fine. What are you talking about? Oh, I'm going back. Let's go. Alright. Uh, where's Jug? This is so weird. Does that not take any points? Yeah, that one did. Why can't I buy it two times? Hey, I guess we'll do sa uh, sacrifice next. I hate how they run like off the bat, but you know what's fine. Oh, it's really round two. God, they're running on round two. Also, I watched the new uh, movie Strays, and let me just say this: Strays is how do I say this? Such a terrible movie. Like, when I mean terrible, like, I mean terrible. Like, it is such a bad movie. Oh, see, see. <laughs> like, when I was watching, I was like, oh, it doesn't look too bad. No, the limp sync was bad. Hoover, okay. Hoover made that also, like, has to be into BCLD, bro. So many dog penises, bro, were shown. It was insane. It didn't need to focus on that. Like, like, like there was just like one dog. His whole thing was literally for like having a big penis. Ew, you nasty ass bastard! It's like I don't care. It's a dog. Like whoever made the movie has to be into bestiality, bro. Cause there's no way. Literal no way. I watched it cause I was bored. I literally had nothing to do. Like, it's not even a good movie. 
and it was not even worth what I think it's like what an hour and a half. Like, like like halfway through, I just went on my phone. I'm like I like I'm one. Of this like this movie's boring, and also just I'm tired of the, just the disgustingness. But it was overall like I don't know like a four out of ten. Okay, but what is the purpose of this? I don't know like any of the lore behind this or anything like this, because I never played this game, so I have no clue. And um, if you guys like to see me get, I don't know, what's the master cam on this zombies game mode? If you guys like to see me get the master cam on the zombie game mode, comment down below, uh, zombie, I guess. If you guys would like to see it. I guess crazy that this game just like didn't have a pause button. A simple pause button? What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to like, what? Put souls in here? So, like, did zombies drop something? Oh, there we go, I got one. Oh, I'm assuming just zombie just drop. Oh yeah, right here. There we go. Okay. My last one. Is this done? Is that really all I had to do? I guess it's not that bad. Yep. So it's like every perk free for the first one? Or something? Um, I want to pack a punch. How does pack a punch work in this game? Damn, what? Damn, 7,500? Um, I'll just do two more and then I'll call it there. But um, it was rumored that GTA 6 might be 150 bucks. Again, take that with literally a molecule. Like, because the game probably will be coming out for like another two to three years. So take that with a molecule, all right? But if it's 150 bucks, I'm going to be honest. Well, people, people will, will, will like, buy it. I probably would. But it's like 150 bucks. That's so much money. I miss back then when games were like 60 or 40 bucks. Now games are like 70, 80 bucks, and like for a premium edition is like 100 to like 200. And it's like, back then it used to be 60, and the most it would cost is 90. Now, now like 90 is like almost going to be like the, like, like the minimum. Just crazy. Some games like Texas Chainsaw, like I like is like 40 bucks. Because it's like a small, I wouldn't say small indie game, but it's like not like as big as like a other AAA game. And also, speaking of Texas Chainsaw as well, freaking, um, they... They banned PC, I'm not banned, but like they took off PC from crossplay, which I am actually surprised from. Like, not gonna lie. Like, I'm surprised they took it away from um, like crossplay. But they said for hacking and like anti like, okay, here's the thing. I played like, well, like a hundred matches, not once. And I mean, literally, not once have I won into a cheater. I think once was like maybe like exploits are like a glitch for like someone did a glitch, but I don't think ever cheating. And also, FaZe Jeff, a YouTuber I watch, he even said that like. He's never even seen like a cheater like, in the game either. So it's like, it's weird. It's like, why take away crossplay? Maybe, maybe there's something else that they're not telling us about, but I mean, if it's about anti cheats I mean, I can't complain, you know? I'm just hoping they bring back PC soon because the person I played with in the video, Texas Chainsaw, he plays on PC. So, uh, so hopefully they bring PC back so then we can play again. Two hearts now. I don't know if you in this game and Cold War like the same like universe or not. I will say though, if Outbreak does have like a 9 mode, because one thing I've always, and I mean, have always wanted from a Call of Duty game, because like um, in Cold War, they um, they had like a thing where like, if you don't turn on the power, like it's just a flashlight, and like, like it's, it's darkness, and then you're just using flashlights. I want that in a Call of Duty Zombies match so badly, where like, where like it's zombies in the dark, and like the only lighting you have is either sh like street lamps or like flashlights or something. Like that would be so cool. Like, like kind of like a horror. Oh, this, bruh, no way. I gotta do this again. Okay. Fresh meat. Okay, okay, man, I got it. I wonder if there's an Easter egg to this. Or is there even like an Easter egg to any of these maps? Cause I have not played any of I am heavy weapons guy. These maps. What the heck is that? Oh, what the heck is this? Why does a zombie have an LMG? Bop, 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 bop. Bro, why does this freaking zombie have an LMG? Let's go. Dude, what the heck was that thing with the minigun? Does that thing have a name? Like, I don't even know. Oh, who's this guy? What the heck? It's the shadow man. That would be a sucky situation being there. I need to hold it. How does an XO work in this? What? How are you? A freak? Why do you have so much health? Oh, I kind of don't like this, not gonna lie. Like, before, like, you were time based, so that means, like, like you had to kill everything. Now it's kind of like, eh. 
I mean, I don't mind the boss. The boss doesn't seem that hard. I watch me die. Damn, dude, these zombies are eating everything. Goodness. Oh. Okay, eat the shroud. Where's the portal? Go. There's so many zombies spawning. Let's go. First time playing this, I didn't do too bad. At least I didn't die. Well, it is only round six. That's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment and also comment down below if you'd like to see me play more Vanguard. Like if it's zombies, multiplayer, the campaign, anything. And also leave a like and subscribe. Bye-bye.